Once a vibrant community, a melting pot of cultures, religions and traditions, the apartheid government's Group Areas Act of 1950, however, put pay to that, forcibly removing some 60,000 residents. Bulldozers moved in and tore down not just the brick and mortar, but the rich, tightly knit tapestry, which was District 6. Rebuilding of the area has been ongoing for decades, and while the face of the area has changed, the importance of certain key institutions, like the iconic Seven Steps of Stone, have been recognized as national heritage sites. The story of District 6 is not only one of displacement and tragedy, but also a symbol of triumph of the human spirit in severe oppressing circumstances. I am truly grateful that we are now seeing the beginning of a process to acknowledge and confirm District 6's cultural, historical and heritage significance. The list of sites that are now declared as national heritage sites in terms of the National Heritage Resources Act reflects this richness. Standing for over a century, Trafalgar High School was the first school built in Cape Town for colored and black students. It's the alma mater of many former struggle icons. Notable past pupils include Judge Siraj Desai, writer Alex Laguma, and Sadiq Isaacs, the math teacher who was imprisoned on Robben Island. Religious sites on it include the Holy Cross Roman Catholic and the Moravian churches. The Zinatul Islam, also known as the Muir Street Mosque, and the nearby Al Azhar Mosque, as well as the Jewish Cemetery, now also enjoy the national heritage status. It is a way of recognizing the value of the sites in the national history of our country and of Cape Town, but it also plays a much wider role in, in creating and contributing to the significance of the cultural landscape of District 6. We must remember that outside of these sites, we have a new community that's returning to District 6. We have an education institution like CPUT, and all of these stakeholders, all of these sites form a very important part of the identity of District 6 today. The city of Cape Town says it understands that this is only the first phase of more declarations to follow by the South African Heritage Resources Agency. Vanessa Puna, SABC News, Cape Town.